Hi, my name is Nira, and my coworker said I need to get a hobby, so my hobby is now making these dumb YouTube videos, which you guys suggest for me to review toys that I really don't want to play with, nor do they particularly interest me. Today, I am reviewing three of these oh, LOL surprise confetti pop things. It comes in this vaguely threatening tube, and you get three balls. One more than most people get. These have the nine surprises. I'm not going to follow the instructions because I'm too good for that. So do one of these things activate, activate the mechanism. We're just going to pop them off. So we have a small pair of sunglasses. Oh god, that's ugly. Um, this does not seem appropriate. Okay. Okay, so we have this ugly toy. A list of all of her ugly friends. She has ugly little shoes. We'll put those on you. This is the worst one yet. I don't know what the string is supposed to achieve. So the top part has about four compartments with ugly accessories for your equally ugly thing. Here's an ugly baby bottle. Now she has an ugly outfit. Now she can be ugly and clothed. You can still see her ass though. Yes, there are two more of these to do. I hate my new hobby. Okay, so now we have the second one. These are incredibly wasteful. I would just like to use. All right, this one's hot pink. And we're just gonna... I feel like this may be the most efficient way to uh, open it. Yay. So good. And she's doing the splits. This just... This just makes me very uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, look at her. The back of her head, her undercut is really disgusting. Inside this one... We have some tiny ugly shoes to go on her tiny ugly feet. Great. And here's a tiny ugly milk jug bottle thing. I guess they're babies, that's the idea. They're children. That explains the weird mouth. So yeah, she can hold it like that. That's not suggestive. And then we have another miniature outfit of which we have another cryptic see-through body, which honestly is my favorite part of these. Now I have two of them. Look at this. It's very unsettling. And I like it a lot. These little clothes are not easy to put on. Once again, it doesn't adequately cover her backside, but at least this one's a little bit uglier than the other one. Although they're both pretty ugly and neither of their asses are covered. The last one. Why are they always doing the splits? There's a pacifier. This also looks inappropriate. Tiny ugly gold shoes for the tiny ugly baby. Does she have a tram stamp? Oh no, that's just... Oh. And then this one has a black and gold water bottle, baby bottle pop thing. Oh, and this one's a two-piece. 
So this one's ass might be covered. One in three asses are covered with these LOL surprise pop things. We have another creepy see-through baby doll body that I will be making resin casts of whenever I have spare time. See how hard is that? She's closed though. Wait, is that that's backwards? It is a lot easier to clothe them with their heads off though. I will make note of that. Ugly, but her butt is covered. I have three wonderful colorful small baby dolls that took too much time and too much resources to assemble. Honestly, I really hate these. They're gross, kind of perverted, and I don't really recommend them to anyone that has eyeballs. So. Thanks for watching, I guess. If you want to see me review and or critique, I don't even know what this is turned into anymore. Uh, toys, just feel free to join the Patreon link down below and you can suggest whatever awful thing you'd like me to review. That's it. Look at all this trash. All of this trash for these creepy things. Look at those creepy see-through bodies. You can't really even tell what they are. But I promise they're creepy see-through doll bodies. God, these are awful.